Did it? Did the tags get changed? I was like checking the tags. Get changed. Oh shoot! Sorry, sorry, sorry. What? 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 Let me change my thingy. Okay, like... All right. All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome to the stream. Zoonova! Hey, yo, 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 yo! Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It's the last day of the year, and this is gonna be like, it's also going to be um our last, our last stream of the year. Good. That's that's great. That's great. Uh, you got new babies? What do you mean you got new babies? Holy shit! What? What do you mean you got new babies? Like you got OCs or, or you got like new pets? Happy New Year! <laughs> Yeah, OCs, OCs. Share them. You should share them on the Discord later. Yeah. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. I'm Barrels. If you don't know me yet, I'm a Mergoat who lost my tail because I kept going to the shore so that I could, like, you know, pray to the sky god so that I'll be able to fly. But sadly, going to the shore made me, like, shed my scales and stuff. Now I grew hind legs and I'm stuck in the shore and I still can't fucking fly. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> Um, today we're oh, so this is still this is still part of our like subathon donathon. Um, today we're going to be doing personality tests. Uh, as you can see here, I've like prepared um, a couple of like quizzes and shit for our stream. I might I might have to like speed run some because you know um, we we do still need to prep for <laughs> New Year's dinner. And if you weren't here. <laughs> Well, I was like um, explaining my shit, like uh, um, in the other, in the other like streams. Here are our girl, uh, girl, girls. <laughs> Here are our goals. Yeah, so I'm celebrating my birthday and second VTuber anniversary. Today is actually my second anniversary as a VTuber. Um, um, December 31, 2020 was the time that I suddenly decided to be a little PNG tuber bitch and played Omori before my birthday, so I won't be sad. That's the reason why. Anyway, here are our sub goals. Um, five chat makes five tweets. We already did that. We already reached that. Um, our next sub goal is 10, 10 subs. Chat decides on a new redeem. 20, chat choose, uh, you choose my PFP for a week. 30, kawaii voice for 30 minutes. 40, on chan voice for 30 minutes. 50, full body art raffle. 60, spicy noodle plus spicy Q&A stream. 80, free going on a date voice back. 100, horror game stream. 120, permanent weekly karaoke stream. 150, I'll be drawing a full body NSFW Mercoat. 200 chat chooses a, a future song cover from a list that I have. Donation goals. I'm speedrunning this for real. $15. Chat chooses my boba. $30. Chat picks a copy pasta for me to recite. Um, $50. Karaoke stream in full little voice. $80. Musical songs karaoke stream. $100. Chat chooses a game to buy from my Steam wishlist. $150 making you OC with chat stream. $200 curtain call challenge. And if you don't know what curtain call challenge is, you can search it up on Twitter. It's um, pretty NSFW though. $300 we buy a commission. $400 buying new clothes stream plus in real life selfies with the fit. And lastly, $500 start making you cover. If you wanna have, uh, we also have like 
some prizes for the top gifters and donators. The top ones will have a VIP badge plus custom half body art from me plus a personalized SFW video slash voice message script script optional. If you want, if you don't want to like make a script, I can make one for you. Um, the top twos will get a VIP badge plus a custom headshot art. Okay, okay. We're done with the, all the necessary subathon shit. It's finally time to do our personality test. Time to get even more exposed. Um, the first one that we'll be doing actually is MBTI. Uh, um, quick, quick history, quick fun fact. Um, back when I was uh, in first year college, I, 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 I actually took the MBTI thing like two times. Because one for the school thing and then two for like the psych thing. Because you know, I had to like take I had to like take multiple tests the first time I went to a psychiatrist. So like um my MBTI before was actually INTJ. And then uh I think a few years back, like maybe two or three years, I took the I took the MBTI again and uh, I turned into an INFJ bitch. I I went from like um, soulless motherfucker to a sensitive motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, this is like the 16 personalities site. If you don't know it, you can like check it out. We can like do we can do the we can do the test together if you guys want. It'll be like it'll be nice to know what your MBTIs are as well. <laughs> anyway, it's time. Let's go. Let's speed run this. You regularly make new friends. Uh, I think this is like a slight agree, but that's mostly because you know online online friends. I guess I guess it's just like really easier for me to make online friends rather than in real life friends. Uh, but you know it's given that I don't go outside. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your is interest. Slight agree. Because I go through like a lot of shit on my YouTube playlist. I don't like on my YouTube watch later. But like I, I don't necessarily have all the time to like go through all of the videos. Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. That's like not the hard agree, but you know, agree. You often make a backup plan for a backup plan. That's that's a hard agree. Usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. That's that's disagree, bitch. I'm a little panicky asshole. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. That's a hard degree. That's a hard degree. I I have like a hard I always like stick close to the people I know whenever I like go to parties and shit. Because I don't know how to handle myself or talk to other people. Next. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. Oh no, that's a disagree. I have like too many. I have too many W VIPs. VIPs. I I have too many WIPs. Work in progress shit. I, I I tend to like keep 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 making new projects. Um. Yeah. They they they. I still have like I still have like a bunch of shit that I need to draw. So I have to like. I have to finish my visual novel sprites. I have to finish commission samples. I have to finish commissions. I have to p finish like Shun's PNG tuber. I need to finish art art gifts for my friends. I need to like start doing art for my debut. So yeah, I've I fucked up. You are very sentimental. Hard degree. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. Hard degree. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Very, very hard. Agree. I I just like easily doubt myself for real. Okay, next one. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation? Uh, in real life? No, no. Disagree. You are not too interested in discussing various interpretation and analysis of creative works. Disagree because it's always like fun to see what other people can come up with when it comes to like an analyzing different types of media and shit. Next. Okay, we're already at like 20%. I'm really trying to like speed run this goddamn stream. Uh you are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. 
Uh, I'm thinking if this would be like agree or like like slight agree or agree, but definitely on the agree side. Like it's not obvious, but definitely on the agree side. I'd say agree. Usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. Okay, so here's the thing. I do try to plan like my my daily thing. I literally have a, a whiteboard in front of me that's listing all the shit that I need to do for that day. Or like all the big shits that I need to do for that day. But like it's hard for me to actually follow those things. So I'd say I go for for neutral here. You really worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. Disagree. I do fucking worry. <laughs> you enjoy participating in group activities. Uh I wait, this like depends. It depends on like the people that I'm gonna be grouped up with. Like if they're cool people, I would say agree. But if like if you know these are like the people who rarely contribute in group activities, then that's just like a hard no. So um I guess I'm gonna be like neutral here. Yeah, I'll I'll be neutral here. I cannot no, no. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. <laughs> no. I, I want I want I want answers. Like it's nice to see them. It's nice to see all the interpretations that other people can come up with. But like for me specifically, if I have to like I have I have to like overthink what happened in the ending. Like if I don't understand an ending, I literally would like look up on YouTube like videos of like interpretations of the endings. Because I need to know, bitch. So I'd say disagree. Peekaboo! Hello, hello, Death Gun. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It is it is our last stream for the year. And we are doing our little subathon, donathon to celebrate my B day and my Today, yeah, yeah. Today is my VTuber, VTuber anniversary. So if you wanna check the goals, here they are. We're currently like um I'm answering the MBTI. Yeah, um, I used to be INTJ and um, like a few years ago, I did the MBTI again. I'm, I turned into an INFJ. Uh, today, we'll see if I'm still on INFJ or not. Or, you know, if I like changed again somehow. All right. Your happiness comes from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. I would say, I don't know, slight agree. Because like, honestly, honestly, I'm pretty sure I can't I can't do great things so um, I've come to terms with just like helping others you know try to achieve great things so I'd say it's like agree yeah next you are interested in so many things that you'll find it difficult to choose what to try next hard agree hard fucking agree like remember that time that I was so into like uh, writing. I was into writing. I was into game dev. I was into. I wanted to like try learning how to how to make music. Ah uh, yeah. Hello hello. Hi Sora. Happy New Year's Eve as well. I hope you're doing fine. I like read your tweets, but I hope you're like doing better now. You can like chill with us if you want. We're currently like doing the MBTI on the Sixteen Personalities website. So y'all. It's 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 mostly just like me trying to assess myself before the end of the year. You got paid a too. Sheesh, that's how you go. <laughs> you go bomb. Um, have 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 some fun. Have some fun with you know payday too. Spend spend the uh, spend the last day of of 2000, uh, 2022, You know playing payday. I I I would hug you. I would hug you. Hugs. I can't hug you here, but like hugs. Okay, where were we? You're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. My paranoid ass. Yes, very fucking hard to agree. You know when like I I often would think like, oh shit, something something bad happened. I'm pretty sure that this would like 
this would happen as well. And it's just like it's like a domino effect. That's that's how I worry. <laughs> By the way, it's someone you know. Huh? What? What does this mean? <laughs> it's oh, it's Johnny. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, you told yourself to get. Oh, are you gonna do collabs? Nice one. Yes, 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 yes. I I'm looking forward to your collabs with Yosan. Yeah. Hello, Johnny. I didn't I didn't know because of the I didn't know because of the username. <laughs> Anyway, hello, hello, and like, happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Happy, happy New Year's Eve. I hope you have lots of food for New Year's. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. Okay, so here's the thing. Even if I like avoid leadership roles, I tend to like land on them. So, uh, um, I go neutral. You are definitely not an artistic type of person. I mean, I'm literally an artist, so I'd say disagree. I'm an artist, but I'm, I don't think that I'm like really, really creative or super, super innovative. So I'm not hard disagreeing on that one. I'm just like, you know, sakto lang, sakto na disagree lang. Ano yun? Wait, I'm BRB. like the brb music same i actually have like i have the links 
the like so like the artist who who did the the BRB music. It's chill, right? Right. I'm actually on the on my debut. I'm gonna be like updating all the music stuff as well, like overlays, uh, alerts. Oh no, actually not alerts. But I was a like, I was thinking of having a stinger. Makes my butt chill. <laughs> and on the diarrhea. I was speaking of diarrhea. I was I was like pooping so hard earlier. For real, for real. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> yeah, my diarrhea ass. I mean, it always happens, but it's you know the holidays because I also like intake a lot of dairy and shit. Okay, next. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings? Not gonna lie. Yes, I agree. I agree. I'm a very sentimental person, but I know that it's important to think straight. Not be straight, but like to think straight. <laughs> I do you're so old. I mean, this is how I am with my friends, bro. Like, like talking about shit, talking about, um, you know, talking about stuff like, like, you know, like period blood. It's, it's all normal. It's like, they're all just like bodily functions. It's nothing to be, it's nothing to be like worried about that much. SMS. Not gonna. I want to collab, but don't have my two terabyte of storage. Oh, oh, you're gonna collab with Payday as well. <laughs> yeah, period blood. Fortunately, I I don't know. I don't even know it's a if it's a good thing. But I don't um I don't bleed anymore. Yeah, I, it's been it's been like I think like the longest time I didn't bleed was like two or three years. And then I don't bleed again. I don't bleed anymore. I think something's wrong with my vagina, but we'll we'll never be sure. <laughs> we'll never be sure because I don't, but because like I don't actually go to like a gynecologist. But but but, uh, my doctors did say that it's most likely the result of like taking my meds. Yeah, Johnny has been he's my main inspiration. Oh, nice 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 nice, Tri collab tri trio collab. Let's go. You prefer to do chores before allowing yourself to relax? Uh, I'm neutral on that. On some days, yes. On some days, no. So I'll be neutral on that. I'm trying to get Ravel to get it too. Oh yeah, sure. You enjoy watching people argue. <laughs> In real life, no. But I, I, I do love like reading the tea on my Twitter sometimes. So I'll, I'll say slight agree. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Slight agree, yeah. Cause I I I don't want to get canceled. I I don't want to get fucked up. Also, like it, I don't know. It feels kind of weird when you like try to keep. Um, I guess that's the reason why I don't have like a lot of followers and shit. Cause it it feels so weird to like keep advertising yourself. Or maybe I'm just like not used to it. So yeah. That sounds like such a Martez question. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, do you want, do you like watching? Like, in real life, I, I get scared when people argue. But if it's on Twitter, <laughs> bring on the popcorn, bitch. I have to be in this case. I know what to do, but sneaking around will require more skill. Good luck, good luck. Yes, <laughs> Your mood can change very quickly. Agree, yes. Like, like within a day, I would probably be like, sulking in the morning and then i will after i eat i get like enough energy but then i will be like dramatic all the way in the afternoon as well but you know i got used to masking so it's all right no one no one would know <laughs> next um you lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you <sighs> agree agree i may not be the most efficient person out there but like, if if I try, I try to be patient. I really, I really do try to be patient. But when someone is like, or like when they're like taking too long, especially after you've told them how to, how to do a task more efficiently, I I get kind of. Can you can you be a little bit faster? So yeah, you often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Disagree, because I hate cramming. I know a lot of people who love cramming, who like, um, 
they also like get inspiration or motivation more when they like do when, when they fucking cram like oh i need to like do it at the last possible moment so that um it'll be like my, my the quality of my work is so much better when i'm doing it at the last possible moment because you know the pressure gets to me and i just like make something really great like no for me I cannot fucking do that. I will lose my mind if I had only like a few hours left to do something. I cannot fucking cram. I'm a very slow person. Um, you know, and I'm a very slow person in a lot of things. Like not when when you're when I'm doing art, when I'm doing work, when I'm doing chores. I like to take my time. I like to take my time. I don't want to get stressed out by time. Oh damn, Payday 2 Legacy Bundle can't be gifted. I was only about to buy it for you as a gift. What? AOM! Welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I'm scared. Isn't Payday like... Is Payday F... I uh, know. Is Payday FPS? I don't want you to waste... I don't want you to waste money on me if it's like an FPS. <laughs> yeah, please don't waste money on me if it's an FPS. <laughs> because I suck. Did you know if you're tucking your shirt into your pants, doesn't that mean you can tuck your pants into your shirt? Big brain moment. I didn't know you were a, three a Twitch streamer. What? What? I am. I sadly am a Twitch streamer and a VTuber. That's the worst fucking combo you're ever gonna get. I'm a furry too. Holy shit. That's even worse. But it would be funny. We could just I mean, yeah, we can just... Ah, wait. I think my- I don't know if my PC can handle it, but like, I have- Mine is like, Ryzen? Ryzen nga ba to? Oh nga, Ryzen. Tapos GTX 1050? Something something? <laughs> the Unholy Trinity, to which streamer, furry, VTuber, we've got it all for you. Should be fine now. The game is out. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, I guess because I think like my cousin also plays Payday. I'm just not sure which Payday they play. You have always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after that. Always, ever since I've watched. You know what? I've started having. Um, I've started having existential crisis crises. Um, when I was like very very young. Hey yo. Um, thank you so much. Anyway, I'm here from the BPJ server. Oh, Drunine! Oh, yeah, yes, yes, hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, we're currently having like, uh, we're currently having like a subathon slash donathon to celebrate my B-Day slash second, um, VTuber anniversary. So here are like the sub goals, the donation goals. But if you want to like see them more clearly, I have the link there for you. Head pass brows, yes. Thank you for the head pads. I need them. I need emotional support. You have always, you have always been fascinated by the question of, okay, so like, um, I think it was like a certain movie, like a certain Filipino movie with death in it, that made me like think that oh, what if there's really nothing that comes after death? And like my existential crisis bullshit, uh, only got worse after I watched like FMA, like Full Metal Alchemist or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Like that stuff really made me think about death. It made me think like, if I die, what am I gonna feel? What am I? What, what do I need to expect? What happens when I die? Like stuff like that. It really, it really fucked me up. I was like, I think, I was like, how old was I? I was, I think I was still in like elementary school back then. I was, uh, I was, um. Uh, I, I fought I fought a lot about philosophy when I was a kid even though I didn't even know what philosophy was that that was it but also I tried to mask being an emotional bitch by being hyper all the time that's that's how my childhood was <laughs> I, I was able to mask you know being being um you know being being someone who suffers through hallucinations for how many goddamn years I only I only like I only was able to go to say to say to like a psych when I was like in college already. Anyway, stop trauma dumping. Next, you usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. I actually disagree. I I really do enjoy being on my own. Uh, it lets me think a lot. Cause I I am an introvert. I I like I I mean I talk a lot and I can be noisy sometimes, but I really really do enjoy my time alone. Sometimes I want to interact with like people in like the Discord server or in the GCs, but 
I feel like when I initiate a conversation, that's gonna be like that's gonna be like a really long conversation, and I want to be there for the conversation, but also my energy like goes down so quickly. I I I I, I how do how do I explain this? It's just like I want to talk to you, but like my brain my brain can't handle all that thinking right now. Something like that. The bundle is sobrang mura. How is that sobrang mura to you? I mean, I guess it is sobrang mura to you, Sora. Like considering how much, how much you get. But like, oh god, that is not. That is not mura. That is not cheap. I sometimes hate my ADHD, but it helps me out to do some stuff. Sometimes, yes, sometimes. Actually, I don't even know if I I have like ADHD. I've been like thinking if uh, honestly, I've been like thinking if I do have like schizo. Because of all the all, all of the paranoia bullshit, but like I don't know, I don't know. I think it was also like something that my psych considered before, like that and like me having the possibility of get. I think like getting Parkinson's when I get old. Yeah. Oh damn! It's even oh shit! It's, that's like fifty dollars, right? Jesus Christ! Games are so expensive nowadays. I say that, but I always try to save up for you know the new Pokemon games. Thank you so much for the follow, Johnny. Ariga, thanks. Ariga, thanks. Next question: You become bored or lose interest when discussion gets highly theoretical. Um, I don't know what the mean. You know, let's search what the meaning of theoretical. T, theoretical. <laughs> Um, concerned with involving interest, practical. You know what? I don't. I don't have like anything against um, any discussions, any long discussions. Actually, as long as you're, as long as you're able to like break it down for me, I wouldn't mind having long talk, long talks about any kind of theory. Honestly, yeah. So, so I would say um, disagree. Like slight, slight disagree. Oh, it's five years of DLC and the base game. Oh no wonder. Yeah, yeah. So it is a lot of content for four hundred dollars. Shush. I'm like checking my thingies. I'm like checking the time. I'm not. I, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to stream. To be honest. Stretch. Adeku. Bye bye. Thank you so much for the stretch, Sora. Have some of my knuckle cracks. Hydrate? Oh no, I don't have uh, I don't have some water with me. BRB, I'm gonna go get some water. A different Filipino language? I swear to God, bitch. I swear to God. I don't piss out! <laughs> Pulls out just streams. <laughs> dance, dance! It is? What does it mean? What? I swear to God, Sora. I mean, I don't mind saying bad words as long as it's, like, it's not like a fucking slur. Anyway. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours? Um, uh, Not immediately, but... I, I still am like able to you know try to understand and try to put myself in their shoes. Oh my gosh, empath moment. So I'll say slight degree. Wait, what 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 wait, what is it? Thanks for yelling out loud many times. I mean, wait. oh, it's a baby dick. Oh no. burat ganu. Malit na burat. Okay. You usually postpone finali finalizing decisions for as long as possible. No, no. I I like to I like my decisions to be quick, 
like I I do I do like still go through all the, like all the possible options, all the pros and cons, but I make sure that my decisions are quick and have been thought um were, have been like really thought through. I don't like it when um like me and for others, I don't like it when they take like when I take or when others take their decisions for when they take too long to decide on something. So yeah. <laughs> uh, next, you rarely second guess the choices that you have made. Um, I always second guess. That's it. I always second guess. It's not just my choices. I second guess a lot of things. So that would be that would be a disagree. <laughs> you look so soft. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this model actually is made by my best friend. Wintasama, they have like they have really really nice art. They did the they did the drawing and they did the rigging for this. Um, they're currently like doing the rigging for my new model actually. <laughs> but to go cutie, thank you, thank you. I should really like add that. I I've I've been thinking of like putting that headbutt redeem, but like I don't know how to implement the one with the GIF, the GIF on the top. <laughs> with fluff those cheeks. Thank you, thank you. I want to pin that the arms. You can like, you can like try to like, um, you know, poke the eyes on my arms. <laughs> okay, next one. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social is event is just what disagree, disagree. Please, after a long exhausting week, I just want to go back to bed. I do not want to go outside. I don't want to like interact that much. Like I love y'all, but I don't want to interact that much if I'm like real tired. So next. You enjoy going to art museums? Hard agree. Oh my god, it's been so long since I went to like an art museum. I just like I just like love looking at art in general. Like looking at the strokes, trying to analyze how they did something because it helps me as well as an artist. If I like analyzing someone else's art, I am able to like uh, to, like, try to break down and try to like, you know, implement those techniques that I've learned from like looking at their art. That's why, that's why sometimes I just like, I just like zoom in on like art from my favorite artists. Cute Simone! Wait, wait, uh, I forgot how many minutes Cute Simone is supposed to be. Wait, I, I'm gonna go check. Oh, it's one minute! <laughs> alright, alright. I'll do my best to be cutesy and shit, but don't expect too much. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. I would say, um, hmm. I think this is like a slight disagree because, um, people do say that it's easy to talk to me because I am able to, like, you know, just get, um, just get what they mean or some, something like that. So, I'd say, yeah. Hard to, uh, no, 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 not, not hard disagree, but slight disagree. You sound like bubbles. Oh no. <laughs> Why is the voice making you cute? I think this should be permanent. Bitch, you're saying my, my original voice sounds like shit. You're so mean to me. No. <laughs> I mean, I. Wait, I actually don't know if this redeem has a cooldown. Yeah, I don't know if the redeem has a fucking cooldown. But, um, you can try if you really wanted to. And if you like, if you like have enough points, you can try. <laughs> I just think this is super cute. Thank you, thank you. Um, you like to have a to do list for each day. I do, I do really like to have a to do list for each day. Um, I literally have, you know, like I said earlier, I do have a big whiteboard in front of me that's covering the mirror. Um, it has like the the big tasks that I need to do for each day so that I don't forget. <laughs> I did, but I spent most already. Oh, that's so sad, Soraya. I guess you don't have, you know... You you won't be able to, like, hear this voice for too long anymore. Also, I think we're over one minute. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's over. It's over, isn't it? Yeah, I hard agree on the to-do list. Go <laughs> <laughs> you should <shmack> back to normal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't sound like bubbles. 
I'm like trying to remember Bubbles' voice. You rarely feel insecure. Hard disagree, bitch. I'm a I'm a big I I think I don't think there's ever a day that I don't feel insecure, honestly. Like there would always be a moment within the day that I would feel like, oh fuck, I'm so useless. Everyone is just like so much better than me. Why do I even try? What's the point of doing this and doing that? I know I'm just like a mediocre little ass bitch. So yeah, that's a hard disagree. I always feel insecure, bitch. <laughs> a little bit. It reminded me of Bubbles from yeah, you know, from uh, Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> I, I I should like try to make a Bubbles impression soon. <laughs> you avoid making phone calls? No. Um, I hate. I hate phone calls, but I don't ever avoid them. Um, actually, I did avoid a phone call like numerous times because you know because of my big ass um, anxiety. But that was like a different kind of thing. That was a whole. There was like a whole nother reason why I was like avoiding that phone call. But usually, I don't avoid phone calls. I'm uh, I'm usually the first one to pick up. Yeah, because someone needs to do it. And I know if I'm not the one who's gonna do it, no one's gonna do it, you know? Okay, next. You often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your... I try, yeah, because it also gets me curious, like, what led to people, you know, led them to, like, thinking like that? Like, thinking that badly? <laughs> so, I'd say, I'd say, like, not a lot of time, but I do spend time, you know, trying to understand. So, I'd say, slight agree. We're already at 70% of the MBTI. We still have like how many tests to do? So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then 11. Oh my god. Whew. In your social circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. Sadly, no. Sadly, no. I, I'm, I get scared. I'm actually... Like, I feel like I'm the reason why I don't initiate activities specifically is because I feel like I'm bothering people. So I wait for them to talk to me. But like when I see someone who's like, it's like, um, it's like going through it, I try to like talk to them whenever I have time. Like, like when someone's like, um, for example, on Facebook, they're like venting a lot on like their private list, and I was like, I try, I try to like talk to them, but sometimes if like I have like less energy or if I don't know how I I'm gonna approach them, I just don't. I just like don't talk to them because I feel like if I force myself to talk to someone, especially when I don't have energy or if I don't know what to, like how to handle the situation, I feel like I'm just gonna make it worse. So that's why I just like keep to myself most of the time, to be honest, yeah. Interesting, that last question makes me remember my strange addictions. What? What strange addictions? Eh? What do you mean? Which last question? This one? The social circle thing? Anyway, next question. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. I would say agree. It would take um it would be my first priority, but it would take me a while to get back on track because I I often get sad. <laughs> I often get sad when my plans are interrupted and I have to like um go in isolation mode and try to think, try to come up of like ways to to, you know, get back on my feet and do what I have to do. No, the other one before the social question. Oh, oh, wait, what did it say? It was like on the last Oh, I can't go back to it. I can't go back. It only says next. But what was it though? Okay, next. You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Bitch, hard agree. <laughs> hard agree. I am still, um, I'm still hunted by the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> I'm still hunted by a lot of things that I did a long time ago. And it's very hard to let go of all my goddamn sins. Why do you think that I look like a sinner? Like, like, uh, you know. As, wait, let me BRB first. Wait lang.
okay i'm back i knew i had to like i knew i knew i knew it i knew they were gonna make me prepare food i think i'm gonna be like cutting the stream short after i finish this one test and maybe we can like continue it later but we'll see we'll see taking interest of other people's points of views eh so we like try to research more on that or do you just try to like keep asking them okay we're already on like the 75 percent i'm so sorry i have would i would have to like cut the stream after this because i have things to do i need to like cut some shit and like prepare some containers you already contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life hard disagree when you're alone at night and you're depressed you either think about wanting to die or thinking about the meaning of life yeah <laughs> next question your emotions control you more than you control them um disagree i am a very emotional person and i do i do like cry a lot i do like try to like express myself a lot but that doesn't mean that i forget rationality like i just like let these feelings go out before like I try to like I try to like feel it out before I you know approach the problem, um, do the things that I have to do. So yeah, it helps me. <laughs> okay, you do you good, mama. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I need to like cut it short after this. Pisot ka talaga tang ina. Sora pisot pisot pisot. Thank you, <laughs> bitch. You take great care not to make people look bad even when it's completely their fault. Yes, because I know how it feels like, you know, being, 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 um, we call this, being embarrassed in front of a lot of people. So I try my best to like, like, sometimes I know it would be, it would be their fault. But I try my best to like tone it down because it's still, it's still like really, really, it's still like, it's really hard to deal with public shaming. I just got out of shoe. Fuck. Uh, I think it's like I think the ad is only like thirty seconds. So I did set it up to only be thirty seconds. Though. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous burst of energy than organized and consistent efforts honestly even if i do have like my my daily like my daily to-do list um i don't have like specific times um written for each for each like thing i need to do for that day so i guess it is kind of specific it's like whenever i just like feel like doing the thing as long as i do the thing on that day that's how i work usually so i say agree when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. Fuck. <laughs> hard, hard, hard agree, besties. Hard agree. Like, when someone, like, thinks I'm cool, or thinks, like, like my art is good, or something like that, or when they say that, like, my game is nice, I, I, like, <laughs> it's so, it's so, like, my my immediate thought is fuck. I I need to like do my best not to disappoint this person. They must not know that I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I disappoint people all the time. No, you don't. Maybe sometimes you do, but you don't disappoint people all the time. I will slap you. Yeah, <laughs> slap you, bitch. Salt. Ay nako ayang kana naman. In this stream, you are not allowed to self-depreciate that much. That much. Um, like, self-depreciating is okay, but not too much. Or else, I will slap you. Grr! Grr! Peace out! <laughs> okay, next. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Why, why do you think I don't have, like, a 9-to-5 job? It's because I don't think I could do that. I would literally cry and panic if I have to, like, interact with people and know that I'm disappointing them whenever I don't do a task properly. So, yeah, I want, I want, and I like working alone. I hope, no, you're not a disappointment, Johnny, Jesus Christ. Shush, you're not disappointments, my goodness. You are not permanent disappointments. Like, people can disappoint other people sometimes, but... 
that doesn't make you like a whole ass disappointment you just had a bad day you know just you just had a bad day you just did something like like something something short it's temporary it's temporary i had nine to five jobs before it's oh no i can't i can't do it sora for real it's not for me like i i, I literally shake like it's not just my brain but my body that prevents me to like go into a normal go into a normal life you believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time hard disagree bitch i like thinking about it like i don't know a lot about philosophers and terms and all that bullshit but i do like thinking about philosophy like why are we here why do we need to be good people? Are we inherently good or bad? Um, like, does all of this matter? And if nothing matters, why should we do stuff like this? Honestly, my my, I, I'd say my philosophy is like nothing matters, and that's why you have to. You're you are the one who's like. You're the one who's capable of making something matter. You're the one who's like able to put value into something. Your existence, you're the one who who who's like you're the one in charge of putting value into your own existence. Who fucking cares if nothing matters? You're you're in charge of yourself, bro. And I also had shift work when working at present. Oh god, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the worst. Like your body clock's <laughs> Your body gets, body clock gets fucked up because you could never plan anything with your friends because every yeah definitely yeah like my cousin had that before and man the the like the fatigue the fatigue the it really took a toll on him okay feel more drawn to places with busy bustling atmospheres than quiet intimate places hard disagree i don't like i don't like being in a uh in places where there's like a lot of people it like it feels so cram and it feels like I'm gonna get you know I'm gonna I'm gonna like I, I, I often feel like there's something that's gonna happen like there's something wrong that's gonna happen if there's like a lot of people in one vicinity like I I I'm one of those people who think like oh my god we're gonna blow up like this place is gonna blow up there's gonna be a sudden earthquake someone's gonna like steal something there's gonna be a shoot that that's the kind that's literally like the kind of paranoia I have yeah, yeah, and then every holiday is your work day, so you can't spend holidays with your friends or family. But I did 10 years? 10 years, Sora? Oh my god, I'm glad you're still alive after that. Jesus Christ, I wouldn't be. Next question. You know at first that how, how someone is feeling? Um, I get like a sense of what they're feeling, but that, I mean, nobody really knows exactly what other people are feeling. Unless you're some kind of like psychic and shit. So, I would say slight agree. Okay, we're at 90% now, guys. We could finish this thing. Blarp, blarp. You often feel overwhelmed. <laughs> agree. I do. I often feel under overwhelmed. My thoughts, they, they go so... They go so fast. I literally have to take meds to make them... To, like, nerf my goddamn thoughts. And help me to become more confident with... Yeah, yeah, we're talking to strangers. That's a good thing. At least you, like, you get something out of it. You know, after 10 years of that, at least you got something out of it. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. I'd say slight agree because I get um, kind of irked if I don't follow something. Like, um, for example, I make I make a to-do list. And I put, like, I put a certain task above the other. Like, I need to do them in this order. I get irked when I don't do them in, er in order. So it really disturbs me. So yeah, I, I try to do things methodically, I guess. Huh? It, I also got cracked towels to use too. Thanks, job. Don't worry. You and me both. Honestly, I, like, my feet, my feet fucking suck. My feet look ugly as fuck. I have, like, cracked towels to use as well. Um, it's been like years. It's been years. Like it look, it look, it's been looking like this for years. Diba, right? It's like I don't even know if a food spy is gonna be able to like take take out this like really hard calluses off of me. I'll never know, bitch. <laughs> You're very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. 
Okay, this is another Marites question. And yes, I am intrigued. I can be intrigued and I try to like search it up. Because I want to know, bitch. I want to know. I'm, I'm, there's this little Marites in me that says that, oh my god, you're curious. Let's, let's go search it up. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm just saying, Bathoven been real quiet since part that MP3 came out. <laughs> Next one. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Actually, I I already did this to someone if I remember correctly. Like one of my friends, I was like, there was like this job opportunity. And I was like pretty sure it was it was like a real nice opportunity. But I know, I know for myself that I won't be able to like do that job. I can't do that. So I like um, referred someone else I knew, like one of my friends who's like able to do that job. I think I already did this twice actually. Because I, I, I get too scared. I get too scared when it comes to jobs. I'm just like, I don't feel that I'm capable enough, uh, I'm capable enough to do stuff like this. But I do know someone else who can do this. So here, here's their contact, blah, blah, blah. Or like, I call, I like talk to my friend. I think you can like do this. This is like a great opportunity for you. Why don't you like try it out? Yeah. I told you that that's just like the kind of guy I am. You struggle with deadlines. I do. I do struggle with deadlines because, because I'm a slow fuck. Even if like I start early, I still struggle with deadlines. Okay, last question. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Hard disagree. Hard disagree. I've been living, um, how many years? I've been living for almost 26 years. Most of the time, it doesn't work out for me. <laughs> okay, your gender optional. Your gender, I'm female. See results. Let's see. Let's go. I knew it. I knew. I knew deep down. I knew deep down that my MBTI wouldn't change. But now at least I got proof for y'all that yes, I am an INFJT. Advocate, your personality type is advocate, INFJT. Advocates are quiet visionaries, often serving as inspiring and tireless idealists. You are 72% introverted. Introverted individuals tend to prefer fewer yet deep and meaningful social interactions and often feel and feel drawn to calmer environments. 72% intuitive. <laughs> intuitive individuals are very imaginative, open-minded, and curious. In short, marites ako. They value originality and focus on hidden meanings and distant possibilities. Oh wait, what was the other? Intuitive, ah, intuitive then observant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 53% feeling. Um, feeling individuals value emotional expression and sensitivity. They place a lot of importance on empathy, social harmony, and cooperation. Yeah, I may be a Marites, but in real life, I don't like seeing people argue. I really can't. I really can't handle it. I get scared. I get scared when people, you know, text to speech. <laughs> um, thank you. Oh, uh, wait. Was this text? Was the text to speech like loud enough? Thank you. Thank you for the hit pats. Okay. 61% judging, judgmental ako. <laughs> judging individuals are decisive, thorough, and highly organized. They value clarity, predictability, and closure, preferring structure and planning to spontaneity. Okay. 90% turbulent. <laughs> oh my god, my god. My god. <laughs> no. <laughs> Turbulent individuals are self-conscious and sensitive to stress. They feel a sense of urgency in their emotions and tend to be success-driven, perfectionist, and eager to improve. Yeah, but being, being too much of a perfectionist, like, um, sometimes it, um, it nerves you, you know? Because you're, you're too much of a perfectionist, you don't get any shit done. You don't get any shit done because you, you keep thinking about, oh no, this ain't good enough. Let me just, like, do it again. And then, oh no, it just got wrong. Let me do it again. <laughs> like, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's not always a good thing. Before we move on to your profile, would you like an. You know what? Yes, I do like an email of my results. Oh no, you saw my emails, GG. <laughs> send me a uh, send results. It's okay. Those are just my emails. We've just emailed your results. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. should I read it? I'll just like read the f the these first these first things. <laughs> now I know your email. Congrats! Congrats, I guess. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, okay. Introduction. Treat people as if they were what they ought to be and you help them to become what they are capable of being. Advocates may be the rarest personality type of all, but they certainly leave their mark on the world. Idealistic and principled, they aren't content to coast through life. They want to stand up and make a difference. For advocate personalities, success doesn't come from money or status, but from seeking fulfillment, helping others, and being a force for good in the world. While they have lofty goals and ambitions, Advocates shouldn't be mistaken for idle dreamers. People with this personality, personality type care about integrity and they're rarely satisfied until they've done what they know to be right. Real. I felt that. Yes, I really am an INFJ. Consensuous to the core, they move through life with a clear sense of their values and they aim never to lose sight of what truly matters. Not according to other people or society at large, but according to their own wisdom and intuition. That sounds about right. No, it's such a Peace out. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think that will be it for me today. I might try to stream again later tonight, but who knows? We might like continue all this like personality test. I was like really, really prepared for this personality testing, but alas, we have to like you know prepare dinner. So yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Again, um, if you haven't seen our goals, here are our sub and donor goals. Um, tomorrow I'll be like doing a karaoke plus Q and A stream. If you haven't like sent your questions yet, um, please send them to my curious cat. You can see my curious cat, yeah, my curious cat on my like card here. Um, there are my socials. I'm Sloppy Barrels on like Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. If you haven't seen my cover yet, make it your birthday gift for me to like add one view. <laughs> I um recently we reached six point eight k views on my cop uh, on my cover of like Sutamaya study me so yeah 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 oh <laughs> anyway thank you so much everyone for vibing with me even though it was such a short time um take care and um thank you for staying with me uh, for being with me throughout the year I hope you guys have a wonderful and wonderful New Year's Eve yeah. That's it. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Eat well. Take care. Bye.